five each way for you. Oh no, seven is two. Each way? Yeah. Count both feet. <laughs> Was it too many? Just ask. <laughs> okay. You're working yourself to death now. Okay. It takes me 20. Okay. But what you do with these fins, it's a kick, a short, just a short pause. Okay. And let the fin do the work. You're doing it there, but you're kicking back so quick that the fin's never getting a chance to straighten out. You'll tire yourself out. Okay. We're not into that. Okay. Nice and easy and glide a little bit. Scott? 30. 30? 35 to 40. 35 to 40? Okay, with that type of fin, that's normal. It's a short stroke down. 25 to 29. Okay, so. 25, 25 one way, 29 back. I believe the average is 27. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, now you know how, how many kicks it takes you to go 100 feet. When you're kicking, uh, we're going to be working on buoyancy and everything while we're doing these things. Uh, watch, and typically with new divers, the fin tips are down. Well, if you do that, everybody on the dive trip is going to hate you because you're kicking up the silt. What you've got to do, and, and what the reason it's doing that is you've got weights, and they pull your hips down, you put air in your BC, it pulls your shoulders up, and so it makes your fin tips go down. So when you start to swim, I want you to hike your hips up. Get them higher than your shoulders so that the air will travel towards your waist. And you should be almost in an arc as you're swimming. You should feel yourself kind of pushed way back so you can see where you're going, but your fin tips are also up. You don't stir up the bottom. If you do that, you'll be welcome on any dive. If you stir up the bottom, the photographers will talk to the uh, whoever's leading the dive, and you will be dead last if you're even on the boat. So we want, we want to get those fin tips up. We're going to do uh, a couple of squares in just a moment. And as we do these, I want you five feet off the bottom, and I don't want anything stirred up. I want those fin tips up, okay? Uh, we're going to work these two buddy teams. Kelly, you're going to start, you're going to do a right hand square, and we're going to start over at the pig. I'll show you where that is. Um, if you're on a pedestal, do not knock the pig off the pedestal. <laughs> not nice. There's usually a bluegill nest right under it, too, which means if you get too close to it, you'll get hit. <laughs> It'll come up, it won't hurt you. Boy, you surprised when you get flopped by it. So stay up. <coughs> You have to get carried. You're going to navigate first counter. Go navigate. 180 out. Two of you are going to do a right hand square, which means you're going to add 90. That'll make it 180, 270, 0, and 90. You're going to do a left hand square. 180, 90, 0, and 270. Look across your compass. Have it level. Find your heading. And then pick out a rock or something. Swim towards it. Just pick out a spot and swim to it. When you get through your 10 kick cycles, and if you're doing 70, that's going to be about 5 feet. Uh, but we're going <laughs> to stretch those spins out a little bit more and pause a little bit. So, no, actually, you weren't the 70, you were the 70. Yeah, you're Maybe I'm a okay. okay, we're going to move it. But anyway, go 10 kick cycles, stop, turn to your next heading. Look across your compass, you know you have a window on the side of the compass. That's the best way to read it. That way you can look directly across, pick out another spot, and then swim to that. You should not be sinking to the bottom while you're doing that. You should stay right where you are so you can potentially point. Do your square, you should come back within about five feet or so of the thing. Once you do that, switch the leader. Now the other person just swimming with them. Come back then, switch compasses, whoever's going to be navigating. And do it again. Once you've done both done a right hand square, then I'll have you or uh -huh, first uh -huh. square. I'll have you do the second one. If it's right, it'll be left, if it's left, it'll be right. Okay. Any questions about what we're doing? One hundred and eighty degrees. From what? The pig? From the pig. And then begin the square? No, that's where you you start the square at the pig. Okay. You should come back to the pig. So our first swim is 180, our second turn is 90. So we swim 10 kick cycles out to 180. 
Then we go out 10 to 9 from 90. And we're shallow. If for some reason you get off course, it's not a big deal. We'll just have to come back here. All right. Stop. You okay?
Did you not get it in her? Uh, Hmm. You want me to help you a little bit in the back? Yeah, what we need to do is put your regulator in your mouth and let a little bit more air out of your feet. It will help you stand up a little bit better, babe. 